everyone, welcome to our few minutes Chinese medicine study today. I'm Dr. Hu from Hancha Health Center in South Africa. Today we are still going to talk about the history of the formula. In previous videos, we have talked that the formula have developed from 3,000 years ago to 2,400 years ago, 1,800 years ago. And today we are going to continue the history from Song Dynasty. So after Song Dynasty, it goes to Jing Yuan Dynasty. Jing Yuan Dynasty is about 800 to 900 years ago. In this period, there were four very famous practitioners in Chinese medicine history. They have created new schools of the herbal medicine. The first one is Liu Wanshu. Dr. Liu, he learned from Huang Di Nei Jing. He learned from the, the treatment principles. He found so that there's 19 treatment principles in Huang Di Nei Jing. However, most of them are related to heat, to fire. So he believed that there's a lot of, there's a lot of diseases were caused by the actual heat. So in this school, he created the treatment method of clear heat. So he created the treatment method of clearing heat. The second one is Li Dongyuan. In his school, he thought that a lot of diseases is due to spleen deficiency. It's due to the digestive system. If the digestive system doesn't function properly, we will have disease. So in this school, he's focused on tonify the or strengthen the digestive system. The third one is Zhang Zihe. In his school, he was very good at using the three methods of sweating, vomiting, or diarrhea. Dr. Zhang trusts that if we can get the pathogen out of the body, we will be healthy. So if we are sick or we have some diseases, there must be some pathogen in our body. So if the patient was sick, there must be some pathogens in their body. So we will use some methods to get the pathogen out. For instance, sweating, vomiting or diarrhea. This is the, the school of Zhang Zihe. The last one is Zhu Danxi. In his school, he believed that in that period, people always suffer from kidney indeficiency. So in his school, he's emphasized on tonifying kidney in. Also to clear heat, he used the method of tonifying kidney in. In Jin Yuan Dynasty, there are many daughters, especially for these four schools, are very important and famous in Chinese medicine history. Nowadays, we're still applying these theories to our daily, daily practice. After Jing Yuan Dynasty, it goes to Ming Dynasty. Ming Dynasty is about 700 years ago to 400 years ago. In this dynasty, the formula had keep developing. Later on, in Qing Dynasty, which is about 400 years ago to 100 years ago. In Qing Dynasty, in this period, this one series have been developed in Chinese medicine. It's a wrong disease. So in the past, we thought that the disease is due to cold, the cold weather, the cold temperature, or I think cold. So we use the wrong herb to balance our body. In Qing Dynasty, Doctors found that there may be other pathogens besides the cold because in that period in China or over all over the world there are some epidemic diseases. Epidemic diseases is different from the other diseases because people can be infected from one to another and it's not from the skin, it can be from your breath, it from the mouth. So, the doctors found there's something different, and then this theory, the wrong disease theory, was developed and 
it makes the Chinese medicine theories more completely. In these a few videos, we have talked about the general history, the brief history of the formula. Also, you can see from this history, you can see a clue of Chinese medicine, how Chinese medicine develops. Website.